Hello, students, and welcome to the online version of Weather and Climate at Missouri State University. I'm your instructor, Ted Keller, and I want to show you a weather tool that I can use during the class. It's called uh, GR Earth, and it's really a way of representing current weather across the whole country, really. Um, depending on the weather situation, I might zoom in on us or show you another part of the country, and that's fine. And I use this for two reasons. Number one, if there is something really interesting going on, or if there's something going on that is applicable to what you're currently learning in class. So that's you know the two reasons I would produce a video using this program. So just to simply go through it, you know, uh, you know, what's the temperature? That's a common question. I can turn that on and it shows temperatures at all the reporting stations all across uh, the place I have this set. I can zoom in on this if I want, show you, you know, Springfield is in the 60s, all of Southwest Missouri is in the 60s, a couple of 70s down here in Oklahoma. Uh, I'll zoom back out and show you it's a lot cooler up in Nebraska with temperatures only in the 40s. That's the green color here and even freezing or below out here through parts of Colorado. Okay. Also, I can take a look at cloud cover. We'll turn on, turn on the satellite image. This is a visible satellite image. I'll show you the difference later in class between visible and infrared. Uh, but this is visible and kind of shows cloudy across Missouri, cloudy and a little bumpier southeast of us across Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia. And if I want to know why it's bumpy down there, I'll turn on the radar. And when I do that, you'll see that there are actually some showers and even thunderstorms occurring down there. And on a visible satellite image, that often shows up as bumpy because those clouds are simply a lot taller. Here in southwest Missouri, it's just a flat kind of overcast morning with no activity except maybe for some showers you know, up to the north, uh, west of us, uh, south I-70 there in Kansas. I can also uh, turn on what's called uh, isobars. Isobars are lines of equal pressure. And here this morning we have what would be determined to be an area of low pressure here over oh, around the Rochester area there in Minnesota and another one down there in Oklahoma. And this little kink in the isobars, that's what these lines of equal pressure are, is actually a cold front. And it makes sense because it's warm on this side, cold on this side. But we'll get into all these topics later. Just a little bit of an overview. If there were a hurricane going on, we could go out and show you that. If there were severe weather in terms of thunderstorms, we could show you that, including watch areas, warnings, whatever uh, might be applicable at the time. Snowstorms would show up on this pretty nice. And it also does show you model data. So computer models forecast the weather into the future. And I can show you in a limited way on this program some of that stuff as well. So we'll see as the course develops uh, what, we, uh, what we'll do. I'll be putting more of these videos up at uh, kind of irregular intervals. It'll really kind of depend on the weather in many cases. So be watching for these in your weekly units.